Hey, everyone, welcome back. I said I want to share with you a small fancy gloss haul. Um, these polishes I got two weeks before Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to include these in Black Friday haul, which I will do that when all those polishes start coming in. None of them have come in yet. Um, these weren't even on sale, so I'm just going to do a separate haul video on these. I ended up picking up six. I absolutely love fancy gloss toppers. For kind of like iridescent flaky toppers, Fancy Gloss is my favorite brand. Um, if you follow me, you can probably guess what my three favorite topper brands are. Um, Fancy Gloss, Own P, and Glam Polish. They are my favorite brands to get toppers. So when she restocked and had new collections coming out, like new polishes, and then restocked all her old sock, um, I could not resist. I ended up getting six of them. First one is Frozen Opal. You guys, look at this polish. Oh my goodness. So this has kind of like soft, almost like minty green iridescent flakies. And then it's got what looks like platinum flakies. And then it has those little soft pinky flakies. Look at this, you guys. This polish, actually I can't tell if the mint green and pink, yeah, actually I think it is. I think the mint green and pink are the same flakies and it just shifts. But you guys, sorry if you can hear that. My doggies, um, I've been recording for a while, so he's starting to cry now in the background. But look at this. This is just so beautiful. I don't have swatch pictures or anything. I will try to get swatches tomorrow before I edit this video, but if there's no swatches, then obviously I just didn't have time. But this is so gorgeous, look at this. I'm super excited about this one. Okay, and the next one. This one, you guys, this is Ethiopian, Ethiopian Opal. I started getting Fancy Gloss maybe like, maybe it's been like two years, possibly three. Time the last like three years has just, Time is so convoluted right now that I honestly can't keep track of when things happen. So I've either been getting their toppers for two or three years. Either way, whenever I started getting their toppers and I fell in love with their toppers, like Ranger, um, all their opals, Amber Opal, Fire Opal, <clears throat> this one was never on the website. So this one must have been slightly before I started buying from the brand. And it was never back on the website. Like it never came back in stock. It was just completely off of the website. I've been seeing Krista talk about this topper for the last two-ish years. This is one of her favorite toppers, I believe. She wears it a lot and she raves about it. And I've been wanting this polish, this topper so bad. And then when they had this, um, I don't wanna say sale, but when they restocked and I went on there and I saw this, I was so, so excited. And by the time I was able to go on to the website, the day that they actually launched, it was still in stock and I was able to get it. I'm so excited. Look how beautiful this is. It's another one of their opal. They have a lot of opals. And this is just so pretty and I'm really excited about this one as well. Okay, and the next one I'm actually wearing right now, this one is Champagne Shards. I don't have anything quite like this. Um, I don't have a ton of like champagne toppers and this one is just really pretty. I liked it. I like it. It has a really nice formula. I'm wearing it over Mooncat's House of Hades. I just recorded a review on Mooncat. So you'll see that possibly before this video. We'll see. Really, really pretty. I like it. It has a nice formula. All right. And then the last three-ish are kind of Christmassy. Well, yeah, Christmassy winter. This one is Under the Mistletoe. Look how fun that is. It's got green, red, and white. And then I think it's got, I think the green is just reflective. Something in here is definitely reflective. I think it's the green. Yeah, so it looks like it's chock full of green reflective glitters, and then it has little metallic white and red glitters. So fun. I swatched these all really quickly on paper on the invoice and they all have really nice um, formulas. None of them are too 
thick. Really, really cute. Okay, and the next one, this one is Ice Queen. And this one is chock full of reflective silver. Looks like the reflective is silver. And then it's got kind of like metallic-y, icy blue. I'm gonna say they're shards because when they're metallic, they're typically called shards instead of flakies. Um, but two different colors. So you can see the kind of like softer icy blue and then the darker blue. Really fun. I'm kind of surprised I picked this up. I don't typically go for icy blues. However, this isn't really like baby icy. It's more like mid-tone blue and it's a topper and I just can't help myself with toppers and I don't have anything like this. And I thought this would be a really nice addition to my toppers for winter. All right, and the last one, this one is Crushed Jewels. This one is so beautiful. When I swatch this out on paper, this is like Crushed Jewels. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this one. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, these are the six I got. There are several more that I wanted, but by the time I was able to get online to pick these up, Several of the ones that I wanted were already sold out. Um, brown flaky topper. I've never seen a brown flaky topper. Um, I've since tried Googling to see if any other brands have brown flaky toppers and I can't find them anywhere. Um, the place that I, the couple places that I buy my components for that I make my own nail polish for, none of them even have brown flaky. So I have no idea where she got these brown flakies, but that one sold out. I feel like that one probably sold out pretty quickly because it's very unique as far as I'm aware. A um, couple other ones that I have really wanted were sold out. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out for her restock. If any of you catch wind that she's having a restock, let me know down below because I definitely would like to pick up some more of her toppers. I just can't help myself. All right, you guys. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.